If you're looking for a history book and learn about how political alliances make or break empires, then Cleopatra by Stacey Schiff is a book for you. During Cleopatra's era, Egypt was a Roman protectorate. Their politics and policies were heavily intertwined. Egypt needed Rome for political stability. Rome needed Egypt for its food and wealth. Roman politics were often unstable and had many political polarizations. Cleopatra, much like Cleopatra's predecessors, needed to pick which Roman to support politically. A wrong choice meant political catastrophe or worse. Choosing wisely would mean stability. Under immense pressure and uncertainty, Cleopatra was able to successfully find a Roman ally, initially in the form of Julius Caesar, then in Mark Anthony, using wit not only to gain their favor but bear their children. Cleopatra is often perceived as a shamelessly seductive woman, but Cleopatra's power came from understanding social conditions, strategic political maneuvering, skillful direction of an economy, and military command. Cleopatra was a leader, a pharaoh, taking up the image of the Egyptian goddess Isis, who brilliantly navigated many perilous situations to secure Egypt's power. Egypt and the Roman Empire were intimately tied. Some caveats for the book includes that although there are explanations of Roman society, there are decisions and events based in the Roman Empire which had an impact on Egypt that would make more sense given more information on the Roman Empire. The story is about Cleopatra and Egyptian history, but an understanding of Rome's turn from a republic to empire would support an understanding the context and situations of this book. There were many authors during and after Cleopatra who used derogatory claims against Cleopatra. The way they portrayed Cleopatra was not historically accurate and reflected a social context that the authors lived with. Schiff does more than correct the historical record of the derogatory claims, as Schiff also reproaches the individuals who made the derogatory claims, as if the individuals would have made the same claims under a different social context. The many and repetitive reproaches take away from reading the history. Till the next review.